So here at Health Professions, we're more than just a high school that prepares students for careers in the medical field. We're really a community, a community that's made up of like-minded educators, staff members, administrators, parents, and students. And we all work toward some common goals, providing opportunities to all of our students to be successful, not just in high school, but at university and beyond. So right now at South Texas ISD Health Professions, instruction looks very different than what we've been used to in the past. If you walk into a classroom, you're gonna see heavy signage. Um, you're gonna see desk shields at the teacher location, at each of the student workspaces as well. If you walk through any of our hallways, you're gonna see one-way traffic signs. You're gonna see touchless hand sanitizing stations in each classroom and also placed throughout the hallway very strategically. We also just installed touchless water fountains, touchless uh, sinks and toilets in all of our bathrooms as well. So the campus as a whole looks very different. The content being taught is not different. So we've had to, to work very hard to establish a culture here at the campus where students feel safe communicating via Zoom, communicating virtually. So teachers are teaching both to students at home via uh, Zoom um, and they're offering in-class supports to students who are here on campus. Our seniors get to go to all of their clinical sites. So that's where they're building the skills that they're going to use um, at university and in the workforce as well. However, because of COVID, the COVID-19 pandemic, those clinical rotations are going to look just a little bit differently with regards to some of the protocols taking place. Right now, we have students going out to our vet sites. So these are students that are interested in, in the veterinary sciences. They had to pass a drug screening check and a background check just like they normally would. But in addition to that, they're being screened once on campus prior to stepping foot on campus. So they're screened for temperatures, coughs, things like that. They're being screened a second time at the site itself. The ones that are going out are, are very excited about getting to go to those sites, practice those skills, and gain the knowledge they need to be successful in their, in their program to study uh, post high school. I think all of us are really excited here about being able to offer specifically the associates in medical science, engineering, criminal justice, business management, uh, teaching, even computer science. We're also looking at expanding the elective choices here at the campus. Uh, we want to start a music program here next year as well um, and offer more opportunities for students in the arts. Vision is not a roadmap, it's a compass, right? And I think the broader a vision can be, the more opportunities you create for an organization and for those within the organization. So the vision here is very simple. It's providing opportunities for all of our students. So we're really excited about being able to offer new certifications in phlebotomy, in EKG, in radiology. We're also very excited about being able to partner with South Texas College through their dual enrollment academies so that we can offer associate's degrees for our students. We could have students graduating from us here with upwards of 78 college credits toward associate's degree in one of seven fields. And we're also looking at partnering with UTRGV so that students can take college courses while they're in high school and not just gain that experience, but gain those credits toward an area of study of their interest. South Texas ISD Medical Professions is a high school, grades 9 through 12. We serve the three-county area of uh, South Texas. We have uh, a strong academic program uh, that supports the theme of our school, which is medical, to prepare students for uh, medical careers. At this point in time, uh, we do have some students that are coming for what we call traditional instruction. They come in and uh, follow their schedule and, and sit in the classrooms with their teachers. We do have all the protective gear in place for students and staff. The other students that uh, are receiving service from our campus is in the virtual setting. That means that they're at home and so they've uh, been provided the uh, devices to connect them and the equipment to use uh, so that they can complete their lessons in a virtual world. Medical Professions has a uh, a lot of clubs and organizations that uh, even though it's virtually, they still continue to meet. Well, actually our robotics club is 
into doing some local and statewide competitions. We also have uh, some esports teams that are coming on, and what we're focused on mostly is uh, our health science, and that's uh, health-related uh, clubs that uh, have competitions as well. So, you know, we continue to support the kids in whatever challenges that they may take, you know, like uh, this past weekend. The UIL academic tournament that we participated in was all virtual for the first time. So, I mean, those are new challenges, but we look forward to. Another component of uh, what, and what makes our school so unique is that we have over 100 community partners in the health career field. Our students, in particular our, our junior and senior level students, prepare every year to uh, go out into the community and get some practical hours, some knowledge and experiences. Uh, we have 14 uh, certifications that students can get in, in medical careers. Everything from nurse assisting, uh, dental, uh, phlebotomy, EMS, pharmacy, you know, it, it, it just goes on. We want to make sure that those programs are uh, fully staffed and equipped and ready for additional students that we'd like to attract to our campus. We're still a growing campus. We have a lot of interest in our career programs that we offer. Uh, we have a lot of uh, partnerships with local organizations and universities. And so we're looking at to expand not only our curriculum, but we look to expand our facility in the future by adding additional uh, classrooms and instructional places for students to learn uh, the knowledge and skills they'll need. South Texas ISD Preparatory Academy is a, a magnet school. We service grades 7 and grade 8, and we are a school that focuses on the whole student, uh, ensuring that we provide the students with the support that they may need in order to be successful in high school and beyond. Instruction right now is uh, being held mostly virtually. Uh, we do have about 100 students that are on campus, the teachers display their lessons onto the screen, and so the students that are on campus are able to follow with the teacher. And of course, the students that are here on campus are able to have that one-on-one -on -one with the teacher when there is a need for, for that. In order for our students to, to continue to be engaged and be part of the campus community, we've tried to keep a lot of the things that we were doing previous to, to the pandemic, like the pep rallies. Uh, we kept going back and forth and seeing how can we do a virtual pep rally. And so beginning of the year in September, we rolled out our first virtual uh, pep rally or pep assembly. We continue with the Spartan Scholars as well, which we recognize students that exhibit uh, exemplar uh, behavior academically uh, in, in leadership. We continue with our Spartan Academic uh, Mentoring Program as well, which our teachers have a group of students that they mentor. They are assigned to them in the seventh grade and they follow them for, for the two years. That has had success as well in, in, in helping us keep connected with our students and ensuring that they are being guided in the, in the right direction and, and, and of course providing them with, with the tools in order for them to to be successful. For this school year, we do have robotics that is being offered as a new course. This is the first year uh, that we offer robotics and we have principles of health science also as a new course this year. We're definitely still trying to keep the sports, but we are looking forward in the spring semester to, to being able to offer those sports in this, in that uh, we would normally do in the spring but also looking at the, at the academics of the UIL, continuing with the clubs and organizations, NJHS, Student Council, all those activities right now are continued in a virtual setting. Meetings are being held virtually. Uh, we would like to continue the academic excellence. We have been named this year as the number one uh, middle school in the state. And uh, so I know that our, our team of teachers are extremely proud of, of that accomplishment. Uh, we aim high, but at the same time, and, and, and we push our students, 
but at the same time we want to make sure that uh, our students are fe feeling supported academically, emotionally, and in every aspect. And of course our families as well. So we want to continue to provide the academic excellence and we want to continue to provide that support that is much needed during this time. Rising Scholars Academy is a high-performing junior high. Uh, we have a seventh and eighth grade. We get students from three different counties, Cameron, Hidalgo, and Willacy. We're high-performing because of our high-performing teachers. We have some of the best teachers in the state, and uh, it shows in, in, in our students. You know, we have, uh, like I said, one of the best uh, junior highs in Texas and one of the best junior highs in the nation. What we try to, to show here at RSA is that, uh, you know, we're high performing for a reason. You know, we have rigor regardless of the situation. You know, we provide that rigor to our students, you know, whether they're virtual, whether they're, you know, in, uh, in person. By providing this, uh, this rigor, we're staying, you know, continuous with, with what, you know, RSA is known for. You know, and that's be a high performing school. You know, it goes back to the to the teachers. You know, I mean, uh, they take a lot of pride in their in their lesson plans, and, and it shows in, in their classes. You know, with the, the hands-on learning, regardless if they're you know virtual, regardless if they're in person. Uh, we have drive-throughs for our students, so that way the teachers get out that uh, you know those uh, materials that the students need, and that way no one's left behind. We had a virtual help for for our in-person and our virtual students. We had different presenters you know, ranging from, you know, mental illness to yoga to, you know, how to eat properly, you know, and something that, that was good for all the students, you know, just so that way they know that they're still a part, you know, of this campus. And another thing that we do, we have, uh, we have Spirit Week going on right now. We have uh, winter days, you know, so every day is a different day, a different uh, day of celebration, you know, so that way our in-campus, you know, on-campus students are, you know, feeling a sense of community. Our teachers are synchronous every day for every period. They are on camera, they're interacting with their students uh, at home, they're interacting with their students in person. That is one aspect that we have not changed. And that way we stay continuous with what RSA is known for and that way we get that high level for our students and that way you know, they can continue to you know, reach those high levels that we expect from all our students. We have those high school credits that the, that the kids you know, can, uh, can get credit for here at the junior high level so that way when they uh, go to high school they go with those classes. Uh, we do have our aim enrichment to uh, better serve the interests of the students and it goes a little bit beyond uh, the academic level and so we have some classes you know for gaming you know for those students to get those interests that are in, in gaming and that's actually one thing that we did do new here was our gaming club we started a gaming club and that's you know, taken off pretty well and i think it's going to you know blow up in the next uh, year or two I know last year they were part of the uh, Charter School League and they had flag football, they had volleyball and a lot of the students you know, were very involved with the sports and this year it was a huge hit you know, with COVID and not being able to, uh, to participate in those sports. Physical education, uh, they're trying uh, their best to keep those kids you know, moving and active even you know, here in person and trying to keep them active at home and just hoping that next year we were able to you know, have sports again because the students, they need that. You know, it's not just all about academics. They need to have some kind of you know, extracurriculars. Moving forward, I just hope that we, you know, we can continue that, that high level of rigor and you're just continuing to be one of the top uh, middle schools, uh, junior highs in the, in the state and the nation by providing you know, the students what they, what they come to RSA for. And that is you know, uh, good, uh, good teaching, good courses, and just uh, a higher level of rigor than other districts. And we look forward to seeing uh, our current students and our future students.
South Texas ISD Science Academy is an open enrollment magnet high school. It was established in 1989, and since its establishment, we have been ranked not only as a top high school in the Rio Grande Valley, but we are ranked top 10 in the entire state of Texas. Our curriculum focus is STEM, science, technology, engineering, and our engineering program is nationally recognized. We are a Project Lead the Way Distinguished High School, and very few high schools have this designation in the state of Texas. And of course, we take safety measures extremely seriously. We have hand sanitizing stations. We have uh, signage, two-way signage on the floor. We have desk shields for students and the teachers. And we do wellness checks. So we have a, a myriad of uh, different uh, procedures so that our campus is as safe as possible. Our teachers have been providing students both virtual online classes and also in-person traditional classes. In either case, the classes are set up to be engaging and rigorous. The teachers incorporate simulations, they incorporate projects, class discussions, technology such as Socrative and games, and so they're doing their best to make sure the students stay engaged. Well, this school year was the first year of implementation of our program of academic excellence via externships, which we call the Pi Squared program. And so we haven't been able to fully implement the program in where students are going out to work sites because of the pandemic restrictions. But we're looking forward to using this program to its fullest once we can and these students will be going on to job size based on their interests to get that relevant real world experience. Also, we're looking to expand our art program. We're looking at courses for next year, such as digital media, 3D modeling, animation, because again, those are courses that our students have expressed interest in. Our STC Academy program is also a program that we're wanting to continue to grow. Those are students that choose to be at Science Academy for half of the day, and then they are bused to STC to further their coursework there. And the advantages to that is that they get a high school diploma as well as an associate's degree. And also, this year we started offering the Earth and Space on ramps class, and this is in partnership with UT Austin. In this uh, particular course, the students have an option or an opportunity to get credit for this class uh, with UT Austin. The vision for Science Academy moving forward is for all of our students to experience building, creating, and innovating using the Makerspace building. And because we want our students to experience um, hands-on application. And so we want to ensure that from ninth grade to 12th grade, they're taking advantage of that space. I'm looking forward to our students graduating with a lot of college hours so they can be accepted to their dream universities. And then I'm looking forward to them being agents of change in their community because I believe that the teachers we have here, the curriculum that we have, and the culture that we have is building that in our students to be leaders and to be showing positive change in their community. And I love when they come back and share those experiences with us. South Texas ISD World Scholars is a campus where students are allowed to flourish on their interests. Uh, we do offer several programs where students are able to earn college credit. Uh, we have the UTRGV program, we have the STC Dual Academies, and we also have our IB program. We want to make sure that our students are engaged and not just academically, 
but also in the format where they learn to respect themselves, they learn to respect others, they learn to respect everyone around them. As a matter of fact, we currently have our international mindedness going on right now. If you go down our hallways, you will see different hallways uh, displaying different aspects of countries throughout the world. And so that's what we want to do, that's what we promote to make sure that our students are well-rounded and that they are nurtured from within and that in the long run, the whole world is a better place. World Scholars is very high on offering our teachers the professional development they need in order to ensure that our students are being successful throughout this pandemic. Uh, what we currently have is Power Tuesdays for our teachers and during those sessions our teachers are you know trained on data, on curriculum, on different aspects, on virtual instruction. On Thursdays we have what we call Tech Thursdays and those days are set aside for our instructional specialists to work hand in hand with our teachers to ensure that any technology needs are being met. Um, last week we had our first virtual pep rally which was a great success. The students had a great time and the teachers had a fun time doing it and it just goes hand in hand with us trying to reach our students. Currently the instruction that we have is remotely. What we are trying to do is make sure that our teachers are trained with strategies that are going to reach our students. So for example, we may be using things such as Nearpod, such as Kahoot, um, such as Padlet to engage our students into our lessons. We have a little bit over 80 students coming in for in-person learning. The campus has incorporated several new IB courses such as IB Film, Visual Arts, Design Technology. Uh, we look forward to adding courses such as anthropology, world religions, art history, and things of that nature. Our vision moving forward is to make sure that our students are offered opportunities. You know, it is global awareness. That's why it is world scholars, you know, and it is an IB program. And we have many things to offer our students, and not just academically, with our core content areas, but in our electives, you know, we have things such as culinary arts, law enforcement, uh, video game programming. I mean, we even offer mariachi. And, and so there's, there's that balance between the academics and the electives. And again, we want to nurture the student as a whole. Once these students leave from World Scholars and they graduate and they go on to bigger and better things, then I want them to come back and I want them to share their success stories with us so that others can follow in their footsteps.